Searing the Meat, a Tasty English Lesson. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a delicious topic, searing the meat. This phrase is not just about cooking. It's a flavorful part of English vocabulary. Let's explore what it means, how to use it, and why it's important for both language and culinary enthusiasts. Searing the meat refers to a cooking technique. It involves cooking the surface of the meat at a high temperature until a brown crust forms. But why should English learners care? This phrase is a great example of how English uses specific verbs for different cooking methods. Understanding such phrases can enhance your English fluency, especially in conversations about food and cooking. In this section, let's break down the process. 1. Heat the pan. A very hot pan is essential. 2. Add the meat. Place the meat in the pan without overcrowding. 3. The searing sound. Listen for a sizzle. That's the sound of searing. 4. Check for the crust. Once a brown crust forms, it's seared perfectly. Now, how can you use this phrase in English conversations? Here are some examples. I love searing the meat before adding it to the stew. It adds so much flavor. One cooking tip I've learned is the importance of searing the meat to lock in the juices. Understanding phrases like searing the meat not only boosts your language skills but also gives you insight into English-speaking cultures, especially their culinary traditions. It reflects the attention to detail and specific cooking practices cherished in these cultures. I hope you've enjoyed this tasty journey through the English language. Remember, learning English can be as fun as cooking a delicious meal. Keep practicing, keep learning, and soon you'll be searing the meat both in the kitchen and in your English conversations. See you in the next video.